We play indie pop rock. I'm Barun, I play guitars and I'm on lead vocal. Hi, I'm Ishan from Modern Mafia. I play the guitar, lead guitar, I guess you could call it, for Modern Mafia and I help in the composition as well. We all help. Hi, I'm Quell. I play bass for Modern Mafia and I also do backing vocals. Hey, my name is Karun Kanampali and I play drums for Modern Mafia. So I just picked up the guitar and started playing and watched videos online. From there, I just, you know, wanted to do music and that adrenaline that you get on stage when you're playing, it's something that you just can't have on in your everyday life. When I was in college, my first year of college, I think all my friends started playing guitar and drums. And I used to be left out, so I just, I, just used to, I joined them. And I, I, from starting to sing along, I started to play guitar. And well, I found my passion, I guess. You could say a little bit of peer pressure and a little bit of trying to impress yeah, the girls so, because all the students, rather, who knew to play instruments and all, they were like always in the limelight. And come on, somewhere you want to be part of that. My journey as a musician started really early on when I wanted to play the drums from like a really early age. From Mom said, such a loud instrument that you shouldn't take up drums, try to take up something else like guitar. Two classes later, I gave that up. And scales and stuff like that, I just couldn't manage. Like, I couldn't learn. Like, I just didn't enjoy learning it. Ended up giving me my first ever drum set as a gift. Like, just it was his old, it was an old drum kit that he had got that he just gave to me. So it was awesome, and I got such a like head start because of that. And um, it just went on from there. Like uh, I, I learned, and the, the first drum kit was really, really like broken down. It was this pink color drum kit with which a, with like a bass drum that was about this big. <laughs> Two weeks, something would go wrong with it, but I loved it, and and it started me off as a drummer, which I'm really like happy about. In my group of friends where we all started together, uh, I used to hang out at Karun's house, like he's a friend of mine from school. And I used to hang out at his place and I used to hear, this, hear his band play. Finally his band felt the need for another guitar player and they decided to call me. Because anyway I was always hanging around there, interrupting their sessions, just listening in. So they just called me in and well, we hit it off and that's how it worked out I guess. That's how I joined Modern Mafia. Well, it wasn't Modern Mafia then but I joined them and then we began Modern Mafia a little after that. There's this uh, exhibition that happens every year where musicians from all over Bombay and even from the country for that matter, everyone come to this exhibition to see like different type of music stores showcase their instruments and stuff. So uh, all musicians, we just meet up, try new instruments and stuff like that because everything is at your disposal. And it so happens that I met Varun Das at the at Palms Expo and uh, we were friends before that. but. You know, we never really considered each other as being bandmates or whatever. We just cool friends, just talk about whatever. At Palms Expo, he just happened to ask me if I would, if I knew of any bass player because his the, the bass player of the previous band was going somewhere. He asked me if I knew of any bass player, and I happened to tell him, dude, like I'm a bass player, I could fill in. And so we just decided to jam and see how things went off from there. And the first time I actually went for rehearsal, and I met Karun and Ishan the rest of the band members and all that and we actually just got along really well and it was a lot of fun. Modern Mafia um, started off as just us 
as friends a long time ago playing with a different playing under a different band name um, and I was playing at the Palm Expo which is a huge uh, musical convention we have every year in Bombay um, and I was I mean I wasn't playing there I was just testing out an electric kit there for fun and I was just going crazy on it as as, as crazy as I could go at the time um, doing everything showy that I knew and uh, Varun um, and another friend of ours saw us play over there, saw me play over there and said, oh, would you like to be part of our band? And I was like, cool, why not? That I wasn't part of any bands at the time and I was really excited to be part of a band. And finally, years went by, we kept playing together, we kept getting better. And um, my friend Ishan has been friends with me from school and um, he, he's been a basis for a lot of other bands. And, I was like, you know, we need a guitarist for this band. I know you're a bassist, but would you be interested? And he was interested. And then finally we met Krell many, like, a year later at the same convention that they met me originally, the Palm Expo. So it's pretty much, the Palm Expo has kind of been an instrumental part in getting this band together. Once I started off, I think in uh, my second year of college, junior college that is, um, I was initially a rhythm guitarist, but then I decided to pick up the bass since I've always loved. And I just, it was an affinity I felt towards the instrument. I just sort of picked it up and started playing, I bought it. And I haven't looked back since, you know, I started off playing in some local classic rock bands. Like I started playing pop gigs for money and eventually I stopped taking pocket money from my parents, you know. I just, uh, I started making this my profession before I even left college and uh, so, soon enough I started playing with uh, some bigger names, uh, some gigs where I got more money and I began to uh, develop my contacts and my network and eventually after that uh, I just broke off and started doing what I love and Modern Mafia I guess is one of that. Uh, after a while, along with bass I'd always been uh, playing guitar as well so then I joined Modern Mafia to explore that aspect of my well, musicianship, whatever you call it. Well, most bands start off, you know, they start making their own music, start gigging, start performing. Um, I think Modern Mafia is peculiar that way because what we did was we met and we started composing immediately. And before we even played our first gig, we had our EP ready. So by the time we were hitting the shows, we already had a ready EP to distribute to everyone. So that worked out well for us, at least, because we got a lot of um, shows and attention because of that. Our music video also helped matters. Uh, it's got about, I think, 1,800, 2,000 views on YouTube. In a music sense, what's unique about us uh, is that unique about us is that um, we don't have a, uh, a structure, we don't follow a pattern, we just sort of jam it out in the jam room and come up with whatever we can. She says it all with a blonde hat, she says it all dressed up against me. A little something just to take up the edge A little known I'll fall off the planet entirely I'll be there when your heart stops beating This guy Coco from the band Agni He comes by and he's like You know, I heard you guys were playing and I wanted to see who you guys were The surprising part was we opened for them at Uninor off the stage in Pune and we didn't get to meet them because we had to leave back to Mumbai and I had a 104 fever and yeah, we couldn't meet up with them. So he was like, you know, I'm coming to see you guys play. And then he tells me that he wanted to steal my guitar, which I thought was, I was very flattered and I almost bit him to keep him away from my guitar. And then he comes by, he sees the hat and he's like, you know, I'm taking, I'm taking a copy and he drops in a lot of money. 
And we are like, we are not even looking, man, you know, like, you know, looking how much you put. And he actually drops a lot of money. And I, I didn't know what to say, you know, I, I want to tell him, like, take the whole box and, you know, go home. But then what will he do with so many CDs? I, I thought that was a, one of the nicest things anyone has ever done because, he, like, he would understand how musicians are struggling and, you know, a musician helping out another musician with, you know, uh, an EP launch and things like that. So I think that was brilliant and he didn't even steal my guitar. We had this amazing review from Moment of Zen of the EP because we're still waiting for the reviews to come in. And, uh, you know, Moment of Zen was the first review that came out and I was so happy after reading that review. It was on, it's an online magazine, not magazine, it's an online portal that reviews movies and uh, um, EPs and albums and all. So there was, it was a very nice review, it was written very nicely. It actually made me feel all warm and mushy inside because they liked the music a lot, they were talking a lot about each track and um, they, they had also men mentioned in detail about every track and how they liked which aspects of it. insane because there's so many new artists coming out. Almost every day I hear something new. I'm actually so inspired by, you know, local bands. Like this is a band called Black, Color Compound, Light Years Explode, Raghu Dixit, Project. Like so, so many guys doing new things. They don't, they don't follow the trend that everyone else is doing by playing classic rock, metal, and generally where the bulk of the people are listening. You know, the stuff that they're listening to. They're trying new things and they are looking to explore into new avenues and that's what we're trying to do. It's it's something new and I'm personally so impressed with artists aloud that whatever they've been doing over the years and uh, you know as of now they've they're giving bands like us and like them so many chances to a platform, a stage to do something what they want to do without taking away their rights, without you know holding you down with the contract and telling you you know you gotta do this and they give you the freedom to do what you want. And I like that because, like I mentioned, our, our last contract that we had was kind of nasty and didn't work out so well. But this is something new, it's like, you know, freedom. And you can focus on composing music, you can f focus on being an artist, rather than worrying about the management and worrying about, you know, what you're gonna do to, you know, uh, like, cover things up if it goes bad so I'm I'm personally very happy and I know the guys are too and you know we can't can't wait to see where this goes. Yeah.